kids, it's your dad. Today I'm gonna be doing a butterfly effect by the king of ad libs, Travis Scott. Oh my god, it's lit! I soundproofed my room. I got this beautiful satanic imagery, uh, smoke meth, hell, hell Satan. We're gonna be doing things a little tiny bit different today, and that's because all you guys have been asking me to go for an in depth tutorial. You guys wanna know all my secrets of producing. So today I'm gonna show you my creative process and how I'm able to replicate all these songs. Everything I'm teaching you is not software specific. This could be done on FL Studio, Ableton, uh, Pro Tools, Logic. Whatever you have, the way I'm going to teach you is so that it can be applied across all different DAWs. Holy shit, Wolfie, I've never seen you talk for so long without making it a joke or being sarcastic. Have no fear. This will be filled with plenty of amazing, exquisite, contextualized jokes. Lego. Boom! Screen share. You like that shit? First thing we're going to do is take care of the drum beat. That's always the easiest place to start. The hi-hat is super simple. It's just eighth notes. So I'm going to go ahead, just find a quick little hi-hat hat here, create an empty MIDI region, go into it and just fucking program it. Eights, that's it. So simple. You don't even need a MIDI keyboard. I have one because I'm, I'm fucking sick. But if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, look, that's all you do. Just like that. Check it out. Boom. Just like that, you have the hi-hat. The next step is you got to add the clap or the snare, whichever one it has. So I know in this song, it's a clap. Oh. Oh wow, look, I have an entire fucking group of claps that I can choose from. Or if I'm on a different dot, you could just type in clap. Oh wow, all these claps to choose from. It's, it's crazy how music software is so advanced and makes things easy for you. So take advantage of it. Nah, that's a, that's a pussy clap. I'm just gonna quantize these notes, bring down the velocity of all of them. Add a snare on top of the first clap and the last clap to uh, emphasize those ones more because those are the important ones. So check it out now. Okay, so this bass, it sounds tight, you know, but it's not, you know, like thick. We, we want like a thick, juicy, like a hot, thick, you know, like I like my women nice and thick. Like with two C. But Arya, how do I make them thick? How I like my women? I don't know how to how to mix and all that shit. No, shut up. Shut the shut the fuck up. We're gonna do this. I will teach you. So all you do is just you're gonna go into your VST and design the sound itself. So go down here to wherever your VST is. This one's called Alchemy. Just click it. But then there, oh my god, all these buttons, all these knobs. I hate knobs. I have knobophobia. Shut the fuck up. We're gonna fix your knobophobia. There's just a few basic knobs that you should know, and if you know that, you'll be able to like navigate your way around. And that's mainly cutoff, attack, delay, release. Let's just start with that for right now. So as you can see, it stops, the bass stops very abruptly as soon as I take my finger off. It just, it just cuts off. I want more of like a boom, and like it fades, you know, like a boom, like an 808. So, so to do that, you pretty much just fuck with the release, okay? So think about it. When you release, you want it to go more. So think release. Let's just do a little more, see how that sounds. See that? See how it fades now? Okay, way better already. Okay, I like that. I like the attack on my 808s all the way down, like at zero or zero percent, because it's bigger. It's more like in your face, it's punchier. So it's like, like in your face, rather than, you know, if we have the attack, it's a gentle, like, slide in, so. It's like, and I put the sustain up too, makes it sound a little bigger, a little more thick and loud. The bass line goes something like this. Okay, so I like how this is right here. This is my EQ if you guys want to copy it, but it's going to be different for every EQ and every uh, VST that you use. Generally speaking, you want to make your bass sound fatter and less like have less tone to it. Take out the high end. That's the trick. The bass and 808 on this song is honestly so fucking low and almost like inaudible. It, it's not even like a sound. It's just like, it's like a frequency. So now the bass is pretty much just an earthquake that you feel in your stomach, which is good. That's the goal. We want nice and thick, thick with two C's, dog. Now we are on to almost the final segment, which is the lyrics. No, I'm just kidding. It's the melodies. So in Butterfly Effect, we hear that signature like, 
I don't know what sound that is. I mean, it's. I guess that's what the sound that a butterfly makes when it flaps its wings. It's just like. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how you can find that sound. So let's try sculpture. That's one of my VSTs I have. Okay, so obviously this is not the sound that we want. Here's what we know about our sound off the bat. It sounds kind of ethereal, it sounds kind of dreamy, kind of moody, kind of like a, a pad type thing. It's not harsh, it's not a bass, it's not a pluck. Knowing that is a lot, so for example, check it out. Am I gonna go under model basses to look for the sound? No, why, why the fuck would I do that? Am I, am I a fucking idiot? No. Model pads? Okay, it might be under there. Bells? Maybe, it kind of sounds a little bit bell-ish. So let's just look under model pads to start out, and we want to find something that sounds kind of similar. It doesn't have to be exactly like it, but just something close. Okay, that's somewhat similar to the lead. So let's play around with this sound. But, Wolfie, it, it, this just sounds like a bootleg version of the song. Well, I'm not fucking done, dog. Wait, I'm gonna mix it now to make it sound like better quality for you guys. Mixing and mastering of a song basically makes it go from sounding like some dude made it in GarageBand um, to sounding like, wow, this guy made this in a $50,000 studio. If you guys want a mixing tutorial, um, I can do that in the future. Just let me know in the comments. But besides that, let's get on to the lyrics. All right, guys, so here we are in the uh, vocal booth right here. Just kidding, it's it's just like a corner of my room. But for Travis Scott's lyrics, it's very exquisite and important to do the famous Travis Scott ad-libs, such as, It's lit! And, Oh my God! You put it all together, and it's gonna sound a little something like this. And thank you for smashing that motherfucking like button smashing that motherfucking subscribe button because I'm uploading two to three times a week now If you guys have any questions for me about producing and mixing make sure to leave it in the comment And also make sure to comment the next song you want to see me do. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye